Aries, what's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Onwar, professionally known as DJ Onwar himself, and I do have an Instagram if you want to check it out, but if not, that's fine. That's not the reason that we're here today, right, Aries? Today we're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, see what you got coming in for you in the near future. This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements. Now, keep in mind, not everything you hear is going to resonate, so take what sounds like it belongs to you. Leave the rest behind. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, it's not. Leave that part for someone else. Keep it pushing forward with what does belong to you. Um, I'm going to start off with your general love spread, and then towards the end, I'm going to go through all 12 signs of the zodiac, and then we're going to top it off with some unsent messages. Um, if you like a private reading, you can find that at onwarstarot.com. If you need help getting over an X, you can find that at onwarstarot.com. Or if you're interested in the unsent messages oracle deck that I created, you can find that at onwarstarot.com. All right, let's jump into your reading, Aries. What is going on with Aries? Please give me clear and accurate messages in regards to Aries. The zodiac sign for Aries for the collective, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Please show me the most important messages for Aries to know. Recent past, present, and future with the intentions of bringing clarity and guidance to the person who's watching. Please give me clear and accurate messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Aries, how you doing? You look good. All right, please read me clear and accurate messages for... A oh, all right, there we go. We got cards trying to jump out. All right, under the deck. Overall energy. Stress. Are you stressed out about something, Aries? Are you in your head about something, Aries? What's bothering you, Aries? What's going on? Situation. Could be stressed out waiting for someone. Are you waiting for something to come in here, Aries? crossing that two of pentacles in reverse so it looks like you're waiting on something that you possibly just made a decision on uh something that you were indecisive about it looks like now you're finally have come to a a conclusion of what you want but a challenge is okay where's it at and the root of the matter the uh, it looks like you are defensive you got your guard up aries in the recent past it looks like you missed some type of opportunity possibly the opportunity that you're currently waiting on right now in your conscious goal right now you have a choice to make you have the lovers which speaks of a choice it used to be called the choices card but it speaks of having a choice between two different things and love reading this is going to be a uh, a choice between two or more lovers it looks like you were juggling possibly two lovers it looks like you possibly could still be juggling two lovers here. Um, um, Aries, let me get these cards out of my hand. <laughs> it looks like you possibly could be still juggling two, uh, two people, but there's something that you're waiting on here in order to be able to make this decision. It looks like you are on the fence of possibly actually making a decision here, but you're just not sure of how to go about it because it still is in a challenge here. You possibly could be... Waiting for some type of information or waiting for something to come in here, something, whatever this is that you're waiting for, that could be hindering you making this choice here. Because again, I, I can't ignore this. This is in the challenge position. So you're wanting to be able to make a decision. You just can't because there's something here that uh, that you're waiting on. Which, and we're going to find out what that is. What's coming in for you? Uh, well, we're not going to talk about that just yet. If you can see the second camera, then uh, you can have a little hint, but I don't want to jump the gun just yet. Um, anyway, the way you see yourself right now, the Hermit in reverse, which is uh, Virgo energy. The Hermit in reverse, uh, you could be wanting to come off of a break with somebody. You could have backed up and given somebody some space or just taken a time out for, to figure things out on your own. But it looks like you've possibly figured things out again. Also, Two of Pentacles in reverse. So you have figured things out, but your guard is still up a little bit and this choice has to be made. Um, external to you, you're dealing with somebody who could be on the sneaky side of things. Seven of Swords. You could be dealing with somebody who is a little bit greedy, too. But it looks like this person is trying to get away with something here. They possibly could have snuck off, uh, run off from the connection, but they could be looking back here. Now, if they are looking back, I don't feel like they're looking back like, oh, hey, it was good. I feel like they're looking back like, what more can I get out of this? What more can I take? This is sneaky, deceptive uh, energy. Trying not to get caught at something. Um, in your hopes and fears, you're hoping that somebody is going to become interested here. With the Four of Cups in reverse, you're hoping that somebody, whoever you're dealing with, who possibly is not interested, 
or not fulfilled, possibly bored with the connection, you're hoping that they're going to become interested here. You're hoping that one of these people, whoever this is that you're waiting for, is going to uh, show up and make it known that they are interested, and that's going to be able to allow you to make this choice here. But I feel like you can't make the choice until uh, whatever this is that you're waiting for. I feel like you're waiting for information here from uh, somebody. And in your outcome, it looks like you're going to get it. But I don't want to jump ahead. So let's see what we got here. Um, tell me about the Three of Wands for the heart of the matter. Please give me clear and accurate messages for Aries. Y'all still with me, Aries? All right, just making sure. All right, don't be clicking towards the end, trying to get to the end. Miss all the middle. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but somebody's thinking about clicking, clicking to the end just to get the outcome. Eh, eh, don't do that. A lot can change. What is the uh, Three of Wands here? Three of Wands. Okay, so you're waiting for somebody from your past, Aries. Six of Cups in reverse. You're waiting for a reconciliation that hasn't happened. You're waiting for a uh, reconciliation with somebody who you possibly don't have the best memories of. It looks like you've been expecting a reconciliation. Um, you could have been getting info. I feel like somebody's actually getting frustrated. I feel like there's somebody who has been getting like uh, or getting tarot readings. It's been like a year or so. And someone is getting tarot readings and it keeps... I just feel like frustration. Like someone is saying, it's like they keep saying reconciliation, reconciliation, but it's not happening. You're waiting on this reconciliation, but it's not happening. I feel like somebody is out there actually getting confused. Also, I see the Seven of Cups here, too, which uh, represents confusion. I feel like you could be watching uh, tarot readers or even uh, getting tarot readings on YouTube or in private. And these readings keep telling you there's going to be reconciliation. There's been uh, there's going to be a reconciliation. But you're not seeing it happen. And it's causing frustration here. But I feel like you are waiting for this, uh, for a reconciliation, but it's just not coming. Um... What is the Two of Pentacles? Reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by the Five of Swords, upright, in the challenge position. So, uh, you could be dealing with somebody, or you could be wanting to control the um, the outcome. It looks like you're wanting this. It doesn't matter how you get this reconciliation, as long as you get it. Um, I feel like you're wanting your cake and to eat it too, Aries. That's what this is looking like. You're on the fence. You're on the fence of uh, sometimes you want it, sometimes you don't want it. But all in all, you want what you want, and that's and that's all that it matters. I feel like it changes time to time, but no matter what, when it changes, it's still right to you. And I'm not saying that it's wrong, but uh, it's like it's always right to you. Whether you're saying, okay, today I want it, yep, that's that's right, or tomorrow I don't want it, yep, that's right. It's like you're going back and forth on it, and also um, you're very defensive about this too. Tell me about the lovers for Aries Conscious Goal, Gemini Energy. Also have Pisces and uh, Virgo, the strongest. All right, you can't make this stuff up. And you can see in the second camera view right here, um, clarifying your conscious goal is, look, you want to make a choice here. You want to go towards something new. So you're on the fence. Do I revisit something from the past or do i go towards something new you're flip-flopping back and forth i feel like you're waiting for someone from your past and that's going to be the ultimate decision do i move forward from this person from the past and go towards someone new here with the ace of cups or do i sit and wait for my person from the past again there's a lot of waiting here but i feel like this person whatever this is that you're waiting on which is at the heart of the matter first card out is going to determine of which you choose Um, what is the Nine of Wands, please? Clarify the Nine of Wands. Jumping out, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. So, you're defensive uh, about this person. You're waiting for someone from your past to come back and make you an apology. But again, that hasn't happened, which is putting you in defense mode. This person hasn't come back and uh, made this an apology yet. They haven't fixed. They possibly could be feeling like they don't owe you an apology. But I feel more Aries, this is you feeling like you don't owe an apology your guard is up you've been through this before you already you've already seen the outcome you already know how it plays out 
uh, you feel like you don't owe anybody any apologies, so you're just going to wait for them. But again, you it looks like you've been waiting for a minute here. Six of Cups is old energy, so this isn't something new. Um, the way you see yourself right now, Hermit in Reverse. Why is Hermit in Reverse? Somebody got ghosted here. So you could, look, you're wanting to walk away from, you have something new and you have something old here. A choice. You could be wanting to, uh, after coming, oops, wrong card, after coming out and figuring things out here with the hermit who goes within to find things, he uh, or find things out, figure things out, he or she goes within. He sits back in his in, uh, in his bedroom, locks the doors, closes the windows, turns off his phone or her phone, puts it in flight mode, saying, I ain't dealing with none of y'all. I'm going to figure things out myself. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of times you find spirituality. Uh, people find their, their spiritual awakenings there too. Which card are we at? But however, you have it in reverse. So you've already done this. You're ready to come off of this little break. Get yourself back out there, which also could mean go sing somebody. You've had time to think about things and figure things out. And it looks like you're wanting to. You Possibly it looks like you're in the, in the energy of actually abandoning one connection, leaving somebody out or you could be dragging uh dragging somebody along external to you in your environment you're dealing with somebody who is being sneaky seven of snores uh swords i didn't mean to say snore you could be dealing with somebody who snores or maybe i just made a, a verbal typo who knows but um this is uh this is sneaky deceptive energy somebody you're dealing with why is the seven of swords here Seven of Swords clarified. Okay, so this person, uh, Seven of Swords clarified by the Ten of Swords upright and the Knight of Cups in reverse. This person feels backstabbed, and it doesn't look like they're going to be offering this cup here. This could be the person that you're wanting to reconcile with. Uh, they could be feeling backstabbed or betrayed by you, but it looks like they are pulling this out. They're uh, pulling these swords out, and they're coming out of this. But all in all, it looks like they have, if there was an offer on the table, possibly this opportunity that was missed in the recent past. It looks like they're still in that energy. However, they are up to something. They are trying to get away with something here, too. This could be the manipulation that you're seeing here, too. This also could be your person trying to get away with something, too. You could be dealing with somebody who is manipulative and wanting things their way. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but doesn't have to be. And this is causing a challenge. This is why you can't make this choice. This person could be playing games, uh, off, offering you a cup, and then taking it back. And then offering you a cup, and then taking it back. This person could be playing games. How does, uh, how does Aries see this person, please? How does Aries see this person? Again, I feel like you could be dealing with the air sign, but you see this person as uh, sharp with the tongue, a straight communicator, possibly somebody who uh, doesn't take any crap. This person possibly also could have been, uh, you could be wanting to cut them off or they could have cut you off. But the way you see this person, a father figure, father figure, somebody who's straight and direct, somebody who's in charge. How does Aries feel about this person? And father figure doesn't have to be, if I'm speaking to a man, uh, unless it's a same sex uh, relationship, it doesn't have to be necessarily a man when i say father is just masculine how does this person feel was i supposed to take that no how is this person how, how does uh aries feel about this person how does, that was weird watch that second camera i don't know if you're watching that was that was pretty cool it like flew up in the air jumped down jumped back up flew back in my hand it was a nine of pinnacles so the way that uh, Aries, the way you feel about this person, you could be feeling like there's uh, that they are single, or this is being you, you being single, being good on your own. This is bouncing back. This is bouncing back after being in hermit mode for so long. This is bouncing back, getting yourself back together. This usually comes after hermit mode, getting yourself back together, getting back out there, getting your money up. Uh, what they call it, the boss up, the glow up. Um, this is you glowing back up. This is you going out, going out, dyeing your hair. Like, oh, I just got my herd in. Dyeing your hair, getting a couple tattoos, making it look good. You got your money. You even got a damn hen on your wrist. You're looking good right there. Um, this is this could be you or your person, but uh, the way you feel, you could be feeling single. You could be feeling like this person has left you single or 
you uh, the way you feel towards this person is that you are doing good on your own. You don't necessarily need them. I want you, but I don't need you. How does uh, this person see Aries? How does this person see Aries? Please bring me clear and accurate messages. Could be dealing with the Libra. It doesn't have to be. But the way they see you, they see you as being a fair person. They could be see, they could be actually watching you uh, glow up or boss up or level up, whatever you're doing. But the way they see you, justice is in your favor. Things are balancing out on your side. Things are working out for you in your life. And they're witnesses that are witnessing this. Sorry, I'm talking so fast, but I, I got to get these messages out. This is how it channels y'all. Sorry, that's just how it goes. Um, but anyway, um, I feel like this person sees you as... Uh, this could also speak of karma too. So karma could be on your side, but whatever the whatever the case, whatever was thrown out of balance, whoever did do the backstabbing and betraying, I feel like justice is in the other person's favor. I feel like justice is in your favor. They're seeing this as they're seeing this as, or they're seeing you as you're getting good karma. You're getting the good end of the stick, while possibly they get the sh end of the stick. Not wishing that on nobody, not saying necessarily they're getting a shitty in his stick, but they're seeing that you're doing good. Put it that way. This also could, uh, I feel like this person watching this or watching you level up could be their karma. This could be justice. This could be your justice is them having to watch you do good, being free and independent on your own. How does this person feel about Aries? How does this person feel about Aries? They feel like you're determined, not giving up. And again, um, this is a defensive. Defensive, putting your guards up. Defensive. Although I feel like this is more determination. Anyway, they feel like you're determined to get something here. Possibly this reconciliation. If this is the person from your past, they feel like you're determined. What does this person not want Aries to know? What does this person not want Aries to know? Please read me clear and accurate messages. So we have a pair. We have the King and the Queen of Swords. Uh, well, this person doesn't want you to know. Queen of Swords. Swords represent communication, and the queens, they internalize their events. So they possibly could have a lot to say, and they're just not expressing it. They're not saying anything. They could be doing more listening or willing to do more listening than actual speaking. But also with that sword, it usually comes off. So somebody could be uh, uh, getting cut off, or they could be willing to listen, or possibly they have already listened, and they have nothing to say. They just want to cut things off here. Did I already do you guys' mutual energy? What is the mutual energy between Aries and this person? Oh, too many cards. What is the mutual energy between... All right. Flip over. Okay, so mutual energy between you guys. I have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles upright. So the mutual energy is that you guys actually do have the opportunity, the energy for a Ten of Pentacles. This is the be-all. This could be the comeback around if you guys, if you are waiting for this reconciliation. Um, what's mutual between you guys is that you guys both are in this energy of being able to have this, being that it's in the upright, but you have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Nobody's taking action. What's coming in for you that you're unaware of? Seven of Cups in reverse. This is the end of confusion. That's the end of being... Your two of pentacles, which is already in reverse, but this is the challenge. You also have, so you're going to be making a decision. Both of these in the upright are indeci indecisive energy. You have, which one? Which hand am I looking at? <laughs> I'm confused with the camera. But uh, you have this one as your challenge. Sorry, it goes that way. As your challenge. So you making this decision is a challenge for you. But it looks like in your near future, uh, very near future, possibly immediate future, you could actually be choosing one of these cups and no longer confused please clarify seven of cups in reverse 
uh, clarify by the Eight of Wands in reverse. So you could possibly be letting go of one of these options and blocking one of these options, cutting communication with one of these options here pretty soon. If, you, um, if you're dealing with two people, again, you do have in your conscious goal, you have to make a choice in between two lovers to start something new here. But what's going to be happening is that you're going to actually come out of confusion, make this choice, and uh, possibly put an end of... Uh, communication to one of these people if you're in contact with one more than the other you're going to be putting a um, an end to that in your outcome you have the moon in reverse this speaks of the unknown becoming known what's in the dark coming to light secrets possibly coming out being exposed please uh, clarify the moon in reverse for the potential outcome boom Secrets being exposed, things coming to light, and you doing your healing. This uh, this is the Yes card, the Star, Major Arcana. Both of these are Major Arcana. Both of them Piscean energy. You could be dealing with the Pisces or a Cancer. Doesn't have to be though. But um, in any event, in your outcome, uh, things are going to come clear here. Things are going to. I feel like we have the Ace of uh, Ace of Swords. I feel like I saw that. I don't remember if it was on the bottom of the deck or not. But anyway, not important. However, if it was there, that would just go hand in hand with this. But you're going to gain some type of clarity here. You're going to get some understanding. You're going to come out of confusion. Possibly this moon. This is the confusion you're in now. You're going to be coming out of confusion. And it's going to bring you hope. It's going to bring you hope. It's going to bring you joy. It's going to bring you healing. Uh, let's go through all 12 signs of the zodiac and see what we got. All 12 signs of the zodiac in regards to this reading, please. All 12 signs of the Zodiac. Please show me the energies of the person that Aries is dealing with in regards to this reading. And then we're going to use the Unsent Messages Oracle Deck. These are all the messages, the text messages, DMs, and everything that you guys have typed, thought, didn't send, left in draft. These are all the Unsent Messages, the good stuff. This is the deck that I, I created. You can find this at onwarstarot.com if you're interested. Please show me all 12 signs of the Zodiac in regards to this reading. This could be from the mouth of the Aries or the mouth of the Cross Watcher, the person you're dealing with, however it resonates best. All right. All right, Aries. If you're dealing with the fellow Aries, uh, Aries energy. Aries, Aries, Aries. Triple uh, Aries. Could be three of y'all. Who knows? But if you're dealing with a fellow Aries, it looks like you guys are both equally attracted to each other. You guys are both... You guys are... You guys are like lined up neck and neck. You guys are both equally passionate, fiery. The sex is good. The sex is on point. Everything is everything lines up here with this other. Um, if you're dealing with another Aries, the attraction is the attraction is hot. I wish I could tell you the way I really feel. If you're dealing with a Leo, your Leo is uh, single. They're doing good on their own. They are not tied to anybody. They are uh, free and independent. I feel like they're waiting for someone. They're, I feel like they're standing almost like a uh, like the red light district. I know I have some viewers in the UK. You know what I'm talking about. So the red light district. You got it. They just stand there in the. Uh, I've never been there, but this is what I'm, I'm assuming. They just stand there in the window, like yeah, look at me, like come get me. It's like just being on display, like putting yourself back out there. I feel like I'm spending too much time on this, but um, the Leo is. It's like they're putting themselves back out there, like yeah, I'm available. Whew. And the unsaid message says, can we just talk? So, they're single and want to talk. Uh, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, your Sagittarius has holding themselves back. This could be an ongoing thing, ongoing thing. You also could be dealing with a twin flame, possibly, or a or somebody, a, a an exact polar opposite of your zodiac sign. I feel that it creates, whoever you're dealing with creates an ultimate balance. For example, if uh, this is Sagittarius energy right here, so your your exact opposite would be Gemini. But whatever the case, I feel like this person is uh, is holding themselves back. The unsaid message says we both had a choice to make. I was clear about my choice. Were you? If you're dealing with a Cancer. You guys, uh, Cancer could be argumentative and, um, yeah, just really wanting things their way. They they feel like they are in charge, but there could be lots of arguing, 
arguing, uh, going back and forth, verbal disputes between you and the cancer. Letting you go has been one of the most challenging things I've ever tried to do. Um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, your Scorpio wants to offer, make you an emotional offer. It looks like they are coming towards you, and they're going to be making you some type of emotional offer. Possibly to come home. If you're dealing with a Pisces, dealing with a Pisces, your person is focusing more on work, more work on their stability so that they don't have to deal with this. They don't have to face the fact that whether whatever has gone on between you guys or the fact that you guys are not in union. Uh, I feel like they're avoiding love altogether and focusing on their career, but also I feel like they're trying not to take a, uh, a any type of financial hits. They want to make sure that their money is good. They want to make sure that their stability is good. If I don't have love, at least I have stability. I still love you. I just have boundaries now. If you're dealing with a Virgo, dealing with a Virgo, um, the Virgo possibly could have lost a job. Could be having employment issues. I feel like they're unable to put in some type of work, or they're or they're not putting in the work. If you guys are in connection, I feel like they're not doing their job. It's not an equal give and take. Uh, they're not putting in. They're not doing their job. Somebody's not doing their part. I still love you, even though I act like I don't. If you're dealing with the Taurus, your Taurus is starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. They weren't really sure to begin with, but they're. Uh, I feel like things are starting to look up to them. You could be growing on the Taurus. I wonder if you still secretly love me too. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Capricorn is uh, they haven't moved on yet for whatever reason. They uh, they haven't moved. I feel like somebody just doesn't want to move on. They could be slowly moving on or talking about slowly moving on, but I don't feel like they have done it yet or they can't do it. I feel like that's feel like it's more they don't want to move on. Let's see what the unsent message says. I wish I could tell you how proud of you I am. Possibly why they're not moving on. They could be watching you uh, boss up. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, your Aquarius is no longer wanting to be manipulative. They no longer want to uh, be in control of everything. I feel like they want to come out of that manipulative. They could realize that they have been breadcrumbing you, being manipulative, just trying to get their way. But I feel like they're trying to do things more on the up and up now. And the unsent message says... I'm homesick apart from you. If you're dealing with a... Who are we doing? Gemini. If you're dealing with a Gemini, don't trust a big butt and a Gemini, right? <laughs> if you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like you're dealing with somebody, a very stubborn Gemini, somebody who could be borderline controlling, or they could be really controlling here. I do see uh, controlling, but this is somebody who feels like they are in charge. They belong in charge. Um, you could have let this person go, or they could have just fallen from grace from your eyes. You just no longer see them as your person anymore. You traded a diamond for a rock. And if you're dealing with a Libra, your Libra is unhappy in the connection. If you guys are still in a relationship together, they're unhappy. And uh, if they are connected to someone somewhere else, they are unhappy. But all in all, I see a breakup here happening. A breakup or disconnection here. And the unsent message says, all I need is a sign. So, Aries, that's what I have for you. Hopefully it resonated. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, if you will. Keeps us uh, mingling back and forth with each other without missing each other. So, uh, that's what I have. Again, if you guys are interested in the Unsent Messages Oracle deck, you can find that at onwardstarot.com. You don't have to be a reader or have any type of skill to use it. You just shuffle, pull a card, and see what they didn't say. It's pretty fun. Uh, also, if you like a private reading or you need to get over your ex... I'll meet you guys at onwardstarot.com, and I got something there for you. Um, other than that, I'll meet you guys in the comment section, all right? Y'all take it easy till the next one.